Good day, fellow YouTubers. Welcome back. Uh, it's time to get into the horror groove once again. I mean, I was supposed to continue making videos after the last one I did. Uh, the last update video I did, not the packages video. But those, those stuff were awesome. I mean, thank you once again to Rabbit and Tim, Timti and Marco. Awesome stuff. I mean, means very much to me. Uh, but now it's time to get into the groove again and, and do some horror updates. Because I have some stuff left that I need to <laughs> show so I can put it away. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll maybe try to watch it as well. Because I, I don't have much time to watch stuff, unfortunately. So. <laughs> But I, I at least have, when I will be uh, free to watch movies, I will have a lot to watch. So, and the vacation is coming up. I don't know if I want to call it vacation. But vacation is coming up, so I will have some evenings and such. Maybe. But, uh, well, it's time for another horror update. So, fucking let's get on. Let's get this show going. So, yeah. First of all, it's a new the film release, and I love these new the film releases. It's a it's a little cult classic movie uh, that I've been meaning to pick up for a long, long time. Uh, I picked it up finally for uh, like used second hand. Uh, I think I traded for it even. It's the Bride of Frank. Like uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Perverted, weird. Six violence and black humor. Yeah. So, so I picked that one up. Uh, then I thought I had this, but I, because I've seen it many times. Uh, but I didn't have it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had it, but no, I didn't. Uh, this is the Finnish movie Sauna. Really, a, a really good one. It's old news nowadays, but... Yeah, but... Still, I didn't have it in my collection, so I need to get it. So, sauna. Uh, then another... This was a new film release. This is also a new film release. It's uh, like a serial killer movie called Tony. Uh, supposedly based on like a real story, actually. Uh, something that happened in reality. Uh, sort of, at least. So I haven't seen this one yet, but, but I'm looking forward to it. I heard good things about it. So yeah. Uh, and this one, I I was supposed to pick this up earlier, like last year, but it was too expensive, I think. And I didn't like this edition. I didn't like the cover, but I bought it second hand for a good price. I traded for it actually. I didn't buy it. I traded for it. So it's antiviral. So I finally get to check this one out. I've wait, been waiting. It's by the son of David Cronenberg. So I, I, I have at least, I wouldn't say high expectations, but, but I have some expectations of it. I, I think I will enjoy this. Uh, actually, I, I really think I do. Will. So Antiviral, also from Newton Films. Uh, the Hike. I haven't seen this one, but her mix things about it. I have no idea what it is. How it is. Also, a new film release. Uh, uh, Mask Maker. On new film. Yep. Mask Maker. Yeah. Then, this is a good one from. Uh, Land this I believe. Yeah, I, I, I saw. I have this on VHS, and I and I used to watch it on TV back in the day when they showed it. So, uh, Innocent Blood. Not a bad vampire movie, actually. It's pretty, pretty good. I think John Land is pretty good on this one. I, I like it. Uh, yeah, so some so vampire fun. I know that many people don't, don't like these kinds of cases, but. I have no problems with them. I, they're all right. Uh, then an old <laughs> classic vampire movie, 
I didn't have this, but I've seen it many, many, many times even since I was a kid. So it's very funny, and also I like this director very much. So uh, the fearless vampire killers. So yeah, this is a good one. It's a Roman Polanski fan. Uh, then a Shriek show release called Dracula vs. Frankenstein. Gotta get those Frankenstein and Draculas in my collection. An old classic, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Wow, well, it's the original, so it's not the remake. I was supposed to get the, the other one, but... Someone else snagged it, and I, but I ended up getting this one instead. So now we got some like sleazy, uh, whatever I should call it. I, I actually saw parts of this when I was younger, and I really liked the way it was shot. It was the colors and the, the way the, where they placed the camera and the, the, the kind of uh, uh, lens they used. I mean, I think they picked. Uh, it was beautiful made and beautifully shot. So, uh, just avant la nuit, just before nightfall. Picked this up last year actually. <laughs> so it was. I've, I've been sitting on it quite for a while. It's actually an Arrow release, one of the early ones. Uh, yeah. So yeah, starts off with a murder. He he strangles a w w woman. And, like I said, I don't remember much, but I remember it was beautifully shot, so it looks really good. I, I, I like the way it looked and, and, and the pace of it. And yeah, it was nice. So, just avant la nuit. I, I don't know French. <laughs> just before nightfall. Uh, then I guess Frankie movie bought this, got this last year. Uh, haven't had time to update. Uh, Eugenie. Uh, Actually, starring Christopher Lee, or guest starring, I would say. So, yeah. And music by Bruno Nicolai. I mean, Bruno Nicolai is awesome. I love his music. Bruno Nicolai is one of my favorite composers. Uh, I really like I really like his stuff. And then we have another Yes Franco movie called Vampire Junction. Uh, I picked this up last year as well. I believe it was last year. I think so. Yeah, Subrosa Studios release. I heard from Vance there was an extra on this called Evil Knight short film. I don't know with who is in it, but there was supposed to be like a demonic s short movie on this one. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this one, this is fucking crazy. I sent the trailer to this to Scott like many many months ago. Uh, actually, back then, I, I think I actually found it and I ordered it back then. So uh, it was used. I, I traded for it, uh, but this is fucking <laughs> like uh, Vampire Killer Barbies. Like there's like a Spanish band called Killer Barbies, and they are in it. The lead uh, singer is in it, and she's fucking hot. She was really hot back in the day. The song for this is pretty awesome. I like it. There's a killer with like two really evil dwarfs. There's hell. <laughs> I don't know if they're helping to kill people or whatever, but they are, they are following him around and he kills people. It's, it is really funny and it, it's... I mean, yeah, I, the parts I've seen was... I I enjoyed it very much. So, Vampire Killer Barbies, I guess Franco movie, a later one. Uh, I don't know where it's from, but it's probably from the 90s or something, 96 or something like that. So, I guess, but it's... The style is pretty much like an old style. So then here we have like it says that it is a drama movie, but it, it's a kind of a horror drama, uh, and it actually has Julia Roberts and Joel Malkovich in it, and it's a a Jack and Mr. Hyde story. That's why I got it. I heard good things about this, and actually uh, I'd seen this one, but it was so long ago. Uh, it was back when it came out on VHS. I remember we rented this one and. I remember liking it, but I don't remember much from the movie. Sometimes, I mean, I mostly remember the movies I've seen, but sometimes it's 
for whatever reasons. <laughs> it's uh, you just have some images of them. You didn't pay attention or whatever. I don't know, but uh, but I thought I would pick this up for my Gecko and Mr. Hyde side of the collection. So yeah, uh, I think she's like a his maid or something, his servant, and uh, John Malkovich play Dr. Gecko and Mr. Hyde. So. Move on. Then we have this one. Uh, the trail looks like sort of fun, and, but I heard that it was really good. So I don't know. Uh, I hope it's good. Uh, Blood and chocolate. I picked this up very cheap. I, I actually traded for it. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, werewolves. And vampires, I guess. I don't know. But it. Werewolves, it's a werewolf. <laughs> uh, one dollar I think picked this up one for I think. The Moth Diar Diaries. Uh, it says here on the back, bristling with suspense and erotic tension. Uh, but I have not seen, I've seen the trailer and I based my buy on that. I mean, I, I saw this sheep and I checked out the trailer and I was like, oh, it can be good. So, yeah, I got it. Uh, th then this is kind of a continuation on the Hamilton story and I really like the Hamiltons, I like that movie so I got this one, the Thompsons a one dollar buy it's about one dollar so I hope it's good, but because I really like the Hamiltons so another vampire flick uh, this one, I picked this up I actually picked this one last year uh, but most of this it's a, most of these things are actually from last year. Some are from this year. It's pretty. It's it's, mi it's mi mixed up uh, together. Uh, uh, this is kind of a I don't know if it's slasher deal, but it, yeah. But it's called Punishment. I heard, heard many good things. Good things about this. All true. So uh, I actually have some expectations on this one. I heard about some gruesome scenes actually. So, uh, hope this is good. But it's like a slasher, a raw, gory slasher, old school style. I guess that's what I heard. Uh, then we got Barbara Steele in the Butterfly Room. Also another like one dollar buy, I think. I think it was it wasn't much. Anyway. Can't wait to check this one. I, I've been wanting to since last year. Uh, a resurrection, uh, terrific independent horror thriller. It says on the back side. I, I have no idea. I have not seen this one. So it was cheap as hell. I believe it was one dollar. <laughs> uh, Asylum from the director of Final Destination Two. I don't know how it, how it is, but I hope it's good. So yeah, uh, let's continue on. Uh, we got Stevie Moyer in Evidence. Picked this one up for a dollar. So way worth it, I hope. But uh, uh, for a dollar, I mean, I think it is. Uh, War of the Dead, like a Finnish. Uh, I think it's is it half Finnish, half American. I don't know. This is definitely like a Finnish director that. Let us down this. It's like a zombie Nazi movie. It's a War of the Dead. I've been wanting to check this out for a while. I just, I just hope this is good. Uh, I, sh I checked out the similar movie before this that had several different names, like nice Nazi zombies and Dead. What the fuck? But it, that fucking movie sucked as hell. Man, I, I hated that one. I got rid of it as, as soon as I saw it. I was like, hell no, this is not staying in my collection. <laughs> But uh, I hope this is good. Uh, Panic Button. Uh, got this last year. Yeah, Panic Button. Uh, yeah. Uh, Baby Call. Also another one I got last year. Uh, it's like a Norwegian and Swedish movie. Uh, because it, it has la mixed language. Uh, Norwegian and Swedish. So... Actually, I haven't seen this one yet, even though I've been sitting on it for a while. I think I, I picked it up last year, so 
<laughs> so I've been sitting on it. This is a, this is a Swedish horror movie called called Isolerad. Isolated. Uh, seems pretty good actually. Uh, they're compared to uh, like Alfred Hitchcock's The Window, The Window Tour. Oh yeah, you know that. Oh, I don't remember the original title. Uh, get down. They compare it to uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock and Polanski on the backside. Says, <laughs> and according to movie festivals, they compare it to that too. So I have no idea, but it's really looked really interesting. It looked like that kind of a movie. So, but I've been sitting on it since last year. <laughs> I've not checked it out. So, <laughs> and I wasn't really interested in this one. So. Uh, Get some uh, interesting. Uh, Peter Storm, Storm, Stormare, Stormayer. <laughs> uh, is in it. Uh, yeah, this is actually this is interesting. So I think you recommend. Uh, I can say it without doubt. I recommend what. Ta uh, yeah, taking a look <laughs> at it. <laughs> I think this is a. I think this can be a good watch. So yeah. Uh, a Stephen King one uh, that I used to rent back in the day and such. Uh, uh, at Pupil. Got it very cheap. I traded for it like last year. So I didn't have this in my collection actually. So that one was missing in it. So another Stephen King to the, my Stephen King collection. Uh, heard good things about this one, but it didn't go well in the theaters, I believe. Uh, Storage 24. Uh, like a creature feature movie. A big fucking alien monster creature killing off, killing them off in a, like a storage facility. And that looks fucking interesting, really. I actually, did, I saw some creature things, and, I, and that would look pretty cool. So yeah, uh, th I'm looking forward to checking this one. I also know what I've been sitting on. Picked it up last year, not watched it yet. Uh, yeah, this movie I like. Uh, I have it on VHS, but I'm getting rid of the old VHS copy because. It, because I, I got this one, so I, I really like this movie, and I'm a big fan of David Cronenberg, one of my favorite directors, so I had to get this uh, Existence. Really good one. So yeah, I didn't have that one on DVD, but I had it on VHS. Uh, also another one I have on VHS, but I'm getting rid of the VHS tape. Or if I already have, I don't know, I could... But I got uh, Deep Rising. A creature feature, creature feature movie. Uh, another one. I believe I got. The, I got this for a dollar, and it's like the double disc uh, with a, with slipcase and everything. One dollar. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Uh, species. Rest in peace. <laughs> rest in. <laughs> rest in. Rest in peace, H.R. Geyer. I mean, yeah. Your designs was awesome. Uh, then we got another. Uh, yeah, I mixed this in with horror because it's that kind of a movie, really. Artsy and. Yeah. Uh, it's Pier Paolo Pasolini. Uh, the movie is called Porcile. I, I, don't, I, I don't know the other title in, in USA. I, I have no idea. Uh, so, But I think you recognize this one. I picked this one up, up last year, if I, actually way, way back. Uh, but I haven't had time to update it. Uh, I think it is. Uh, see, it has something to do with a cannibal or something like that. And some political statements, and you know. I, or rather. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's not talk about it because I don't really know. <laughs> uh, Fast. Oh, I checked the trailer out last year and that's why I bought it. Uh, One dollar. And it actually looks pretty fun and like dreamlike, surreal, uh, crazy. Like, you know. Uh, Faust. Uh, I think I believe it's German. German movie. Well, it looks really interesting. I would, I would say it's worth checking out for horror fans. Even though it says drama, this is more like a weird-ass like, horror-inspired thing. I mean, it's based on 
um, Faust, so I mean, and it's the story of Faust, so. so yeah. Uh, then we got this one I also picked up last year for like a dollar. Jan Luc Godard, uh, it's a uh, weekend. Pretty nice edition with slipcase and all. That's pretty cool, pretty nice. So yeah. Yeah, that one last year, uh, then we then we got Trafout, Francis Trafout, Trafout. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what this is called in <laughs> out there in the world. Uh, yeah, damn it, I don't remember the title. But here it's called the Vilde, Den Vilde Dreng, and I believe it's, uh, yeah, it's the Norwegian ed uh, edition, I believe. I don't really care, I mean, Norwegian, Swedish, Danish, I mean, as long as it's has a good price and, I mean, it looks good, it doesn't matter, as long as it uh, at least has Swedish subtitles, if it's French or German or something, if it's English, it doesn't really matter, but, but this is, this is it, it feels like I should, I could, I could continue, but I don't know how long the video is, but this is it for this horror update, I do have more, and I do, uh, wait a minute, I'll be back, I have something, just wait here. Yeah, I have something, I have something, I actually have something that I forgot about. I picked this up uh, in the beginning of this month, early for sale, they have like just a couple of left. I bought an Evil Dead 2 figure! It's Henrietta from Evil Dead 2. Fucking awesome, you can exchange the head for the I Swallow Your Soul one day, like, I call it Chicken Head, I, I don't know what to call it, but... But it's... <laughs> but it's fucking awesome, I bought this, like, very, very cheap, I had no idea how much, four dollars or... If not, even that, I mean... I was supposed to buy another one, for one of my friends, but when I went back, they were sold out, so, well, at least I had one, at least, so, it was fucking cool. I haven't bought a new figure in years, so, to get a new figure for my uh, figure collection, that was pretty cool. Usually they're too expensive, I think, so it's, I mean, it's still just a, like, a plastic thing, even though they're artworks and they're beautiful and such, I mean, but it's still money, <laughs> I mean, we gotta survive as well, so. So my cost limit for figures are pretty low, unfortunately, but, but it's good also, we can we can have everything. But uh, Evil Dead 2, really cool figure, so let's see if I thought I would show that as well. So, uh, yeah, I have some more to show, but I will save it for later on. And I also have some news, actually, but I also will save that news for later on. Uh, uh, yeah, this is it. Take care, everybody. Uh, See you later. Bye.